Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn about the most common Excel errors and how to fix them. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master business analytics skills, land your dream job, or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various business analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. Through this program, you will gain the knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a business analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find out the business analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interests. Now, without further delay, let's get started. So, some of the common Excel errors and how to fix them. So, let's get back to the Excel spreadsheet with some data on it. So, there you go. We have switched to Excel spreadsheet and here you can already see there is one common error. So, this hashing, right? You can see some hash symbols over here. So, basically, they are not any practical errors. This is just the visual error which you can commonly see whenever you have opened a new data set. So, in those situations, all you can do is adjust the column width and row height, right? In those scenarios, if you do that, you can fix these errors. Simple. Now, let's get to the second type of error. Now, uh, let's say we have salary and height percentage over here, right? Now, let's try to calculate the new salary. So, the formula is equals to old salary plus height percentage, which is in the cell E2 into the old existing salary close the bracket press enter so there you go you have the updated salaries here now let's say i remove this now you have the actual salary so far it looks okay right even if i remove this particular cell it's showing the actual value but what if your data set wanted or the architect or the owner of the spreadsheet wanted to have a clean looking data and he added some information here what's the reason for this missing value let's say he will say no hike given to this particular uh, particular employee based on performance right and if i get out of this cell you can see we already have a value error right so we don't want this error basically what's happening is here we have a different data type altogether we were dealing with numbers so far but when the formula finds a text formula or text data type, then it will show a value error. So basically, this is based on a data type, right? So here you can see when you highlight the cell, a value is used in the formula of the wrong data type. So most common errors can be fixed with this method. Help on this error and you can find all the help that you can get from Excel and it will also suggest you what to do in these particular situations. Now. A common solution which you can do to eliminate this error is encapsulate this particular hike cell with a function sum right and enter now this will bypass that particular value error and it will eliminate it now if we drag the same formula across all the cells okay let's try to remove a few and uh, yeah this one as well let's say they did not perform in this particular quarter so no hike no hike and as soon as we get out of this cell and drag this formula across all the cells i think it's already been approved and then you will not find the value error and moving on to the next type of error so uh, before that let's try to enter some value here let's say 
I'm doing this deliberately. So to understand this error, we need this. So now we have a new versions of Microsoft Excel, right? So the error that we are going to discuss is the spill error. Okay. Now here we have employee IDs. So employee ID will anyways be unique, but still we will try to eliminate some du duplicate entries by using the unique formula here. And if I give this particular A to K column and press enter, you will find the error that says spill. The answer is, I mean, what does exactly this mean is you can see the particular cells got highlighted. So these particular cells got highlighted because it wants to fill these spaces with the unique entries, but unfortunately it could not because it has already some data in its path. So in this path, it has simply gone. So when an existing value is present in a uh, you know set of cells where it wants to print, it will not print the data. And let's see what happens if I remove this. You got the data, right? So that's how it works. Now this is the second type of error which was spill error. Now let's move on to the third type of error in Excel. Now let's remove this column. Now let's go all the way to the bottom and let's say uh, your manager wanted to find out um, what's the increase in the uh, you know, dedicated amount for salaries, old salary and new salary. So now let's try to calculate the sum of all these columns. So let's say I don't know the function and I presume there is some function which is called as add and uh, all the cells. I think it will give me the required uh, summation detail, right? And I keep this and I think it should work, but it's not. This happens. It is identifying that you want to do summation, but it is unable to you know, get a clarity. Uh, and uh, automatically when it doesn't have a clarity it will throw up an error instead of taking a decision on its own okay so it will tell you i think it you want to uh, do a summation but you're using the wrong function so when you click on this error same uh, when you click on this error it will show you a highlighted error symbol will be popping up somewhere so when you click on that error it will tell that the name error will come when you're trying to name the function in a wrong way. Let's say I delete this and again, let's say I give as u in place of sum and I get the entire column salary enter. It again shows me the name error, right? So basically it's unable to identify the function or you are giving a wrong name to the function. So in such situations, all you can do is use the right name press tab to select the function and select the entire column press enter there you go and here same let's say equals to sum press tab to enter the function select the column enter and you can find out the difference between the both you can simply this one minus this one okay, the data type again equals this minus this enter so this is the amount that invested that got invested extra for clearing the hikes now that was the other type of error now let's move on to the next type before that let's try to delete this one we don't want any complications now the next type of error is reference error hash ref now if i happen to delete this particular column let's say i delete this and you can already see a lot of ref 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 has been popped up so what is this so this happens basically when you let's say you have created a formula using multiple cells and one of the cells get deleted so now every formula that you created using multiple cells the excel was referring to that particular cell for getting the you know final result but out of that if any of the cells get deleted, then it is unable to refer to that particular address and it's not given, able to give you the result. Now, if I delete this particular column, the same happens. So what's happening here is, if you check the formula equals to, you can see some cells got highlighted, the C column and E column. 
So it is referring to these two cells and it is performing some mathematical operations in the background and giving you the final result. But when you are re removing these uh, reference cells, it will automatically throw an error which is hash ref. Now moving next. So for the next type of error, uh, let's do something. So what we're doing is we have So we have salary per month. Now we have this particular salary, right? The updated salary per month. Now let's say we wanted to calculate the uh, pay per day. Now that can be done divided by 30. Enter. So this is the average amount which an employee gets per day on per day basis. Now let's say I give it zero. Right. If you divide that by zero, or let's say now I've uh, deliberately given the number a zero, but in few situations, when the result, you know, sometimes the calculations are dependent on intermediate results, right? Intermediate calculations. So in case if any of the cell is yielding in a value zero during the intermediate calculations, then in those scenarios, you find the divide by zero error. So this happens in that situation and also when you highlight this, it is also seen when the cell is empty. In a few situations during the data cleaning process, if you end up having a blank cell in those scenarios as well, you can find this divide by zero error. Now let's move on to the next type of error in our tutorial for today. Let's clear this column as well. You don't want the complications during the demonstration. Now. Uh, Let's look at some of the advanced uh, functions. Let's say I want to run a VLOOKUP function over here. Let's say I want name and height here. So I'll add them here. Let's do VLOOKUP. Now the lookup value will be my employee ID. It's taking an entire column. Let's say I'll not do that. I'll add another. Um, cell, okay, I'll refer to this particular cell and I'll add the employee IDs there. And the table array is this. You can just highlight somewhere over here because this is a table. It will take up the entire table. Okay, it took it. Mm, okay, let, let me personally do it manually do it because it's taking also taking the VLOOKUP one. So I'll select the entire array. Now the next one is so we look up I'll refer to this particular cell. This is my array. Uh, the height percentage. So one, two, three, four, five, comma exact match and press on tab to select it and enter okay now let me put at the id column here and you can see we are getting n a because uh, we haven't added any of the details over here so you can either uh, do a data validation here or you can just add up the value here enter now i have you know uh, stretched the formula across all the values here right so you know i'm just i just want one value here i'm just getting uh, let's say your manager wants some random value over here he wants to get the detail of the detail only of one person let's say this particular person did not get hike right so this is fine it is showing me uh, the you know hike value it is showing me the hike uh, percentage or you know some value of that person but again why am i getting all these errors i don't want these errors here how can i remove them so in such scenarios you can uh, directly tell formula in case if you find an error then you can say 
or you can you don't have to add anything just keep it as blank right in such scenarios you don't uh, have any errors there now you can copy and paste the employee id over here and done or you can do a quick data validation here right just go to data and data validation and instead of any value select the list and source will be your, the list of your employee ids and press ok now let's say your manager wants to check individually now this particular person how much height did he get and uh, one man this particular person did he get any hike or no no right so this is how you can uh, use uh, if error to remove the na errors not uh, applicable or not found something such type of errors and these are the most common type of errors that you will be finding in day-to-day -day life using your excel and with that we have come to an end of this session on the most common excel errors and how to fix them if you have any doubts regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require any of the resources like dataset and the formula list which has more fixes to most errors found we have a separate document on that so if you want any of those please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to help you at the earliest until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn self on the path to career success Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.